What is the examination of choice for evaluating GERD and gastric ulcers? Endoscopy. What food should be avoided in patients with GERD? Caffeine, chocolate, peppermint, and alcoholic beverages. What is jaundice? A yellowing of the skin, sclera, and mucous membranes caused by high bilirubin in the blood. What are some lifestyle changes that a patient can make to reduce GERD? Avoid wearing constrictive clothing, especially around the waist. Limit late night snacks, carbonated drinks, and laying down immediately after eating. What is an upper gastrointestinal series used to examine? Upper GI series involves drinking a barium mixture and an x-ray to see the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. What is the best position for the patient after gastrectomy? Low Fowlers. Heartburn is a primary symptom of what? GERD. What should be recommended to the patient following an upper GI series examination with barium? Drink fluids and take a laxative to encourage removal of the barium. What two post-operative complications occur after meals in a patient who has undergone gastric surgery? Postprandial hypoglycemia and dumping. What are examples of tasks that can be performed by an unlicensed assistive personnel, or UAP? Skin care, oral care. What is stomatitis? Inflammation of the mouth with painful swelling and sores. What is the best way to provide oral care to patients who are not able to perform oral care? After every meal, a soft toothbrush should be used to brush the teeth. What is parotiditis, and who is at risk? Inflammation of the parotid gland. Patients at risk are individuals with lack of oral care or poor fluid intake. When can most patients resume three meals per day after partial gastrectomy surgery? Six to 12 months. An unexpected elevation in temperature after an endoscopic procedure should prompt the nurse to what? Suspect perforation, assess the patient, and contact the healthcare provider. Where does bilirubin come from? The breakdown of red blood cells. In a patient with sharp pain and a history of peptic ulcer disease, what should the nurse do? Suspect perforation, assess the patient, and contact the healthcare provider. What is the treatment of symptomatic hiatal hernia? Weight loss, medications, dietary restrictions, and when this fails, surgery. What are the medications for the treatment of GERD? H2 receptor antagonists, such as cimetidine, famotidine, and ranitidine. PPIs, such as omeprazole and pantoprazole. How does cimetidine work? Cimetidine is a histamine H2 receptor antagonist that works by blocking H2 receptors on the parietal cell and inhibits acid secretion. What are the adverse effects of frequent antacid use? Constipation, elevation of magnesium and aluminum in patients with renal failure. What positional changes can be made to reduce the risk of dumping? Reclining 30 minutes after eating. What dietary changes related to liquid intake during meals can be made to reduce dumping? Limit fluids during the meal to slow the transit of the food. What is the advantage of low Fowler's position after abdominal surgery? Low Fowler's position relaxes the abdominal muscles. What is jaundice? What is parotiditis, and who is at risk?
What is an upper gastrointestinal series used to examine? What is stomatitis? What is the best position for the patient after gastrectomy? What is the examination of choice for evaluating GERD and gastric ulcers? Endoscopy. What is the examination of choice for evaluating GERD and gastric ulcers? Caffeine, chocolate, peppermint, and alcoholic beverages. What food should be avoided in patients with GERD? A yellowing of the skin, sclera, and mucous membranes caused by high bilirubin in the blood. What is jaundice? Avoid wearing constrictive clothing, especially around the waist. Limit late-night snacks, carbonated drinks, and laying down immediately after eating. What are some lifestyle changes that a patient can make to reduce GERD? Upper GI series involves drinking a barium mixture and an x-ray to see the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. What is an upper gastrointestinal series used to examine? Low Fowlers. What is the best position for the patient after gastrectomy? GERD. Heartburn is a primary symptom of what? Drink fluids and take a laxative to encourage removal of the barium. What should be recommended to the patient following an upper GI series examination with barium? postprandial hypoglycemia, and dumping. What two postoperative complications occur after meals in a patient who has undergone gastric surgery? Skin care, oral care. What are examples of tasks that can be performed by an unlicensed assistive personnel, or UAP? Inflammation of the mouth with painful swelling and sores. What is stomatitis? After every meal, a soft toothbrush should be used to brush the teeth. What is the best way to provide oral care to patients who are not able to perform oral care? Inflammation of the parotid gland. Patients at risk are individuals with lack of oral care or poor fluid intake. What is parotiditis and who is at risk? six to 12 months. When can most patients resume three meals per day after partial gastrectomy surgery? Suspect perforation, assess the patient, and contact the healthcare provider. An unexpected elevation in temperature after an endoscopic procedure should prompt the nurse to what? The breakdown of red blood cells. Where does bilirubin come from? Suspect perforation. Assess the patient and contact the healthcare provider. In a patient with sharp pain and a history of peptic ulcer disease, what should the nurse do? Weight loss, medications, dietary restrictions, and when this fails, surgery. What is the treatment of symptomatic hiatal hernia? H2 receptor antagonists, such as cimetidine, famotidine, and ranitidine. PPIs, such as omeprazole and pantoprazole. What are the medications for the treatment of GERD? Cimetidine is a histamine H2 receptor antagonist that works by blocking H2 receptors on the parietal cell and inhibits acid secretion. How does cimetidine work? Constipation, elevation of magnesium and aluminum in patients with renal failure. 
What are the adverse effects of frequent antacid use? Reclining 30 minutes after eating. What positional changes can be made to reduce the risk of dumping? Limit fluids during the meal to slow the transit of the food. What dietary changes related to liquid intake during meals can be made to reduce dumping? Low Fowler's position relaxes the abdominal muscles. What is the advantage of Low Fowler's position after abdominal surgery? What is jaundice? What is parotiditis, and who is at risk? What is an upper gastrointestinal series used to examine? What is stomatitis? What is the best position for the patient after gastrectomy? What is the examination of choice for evaluating GERD and gastric ulcers?